From Old Man Sugarheart, this is Pioneers of Pagonia. This one had like an, uh, a Steam Next Fest demo, and it was one of the ones where I was like, I'm not going to play the demo because there's a really good chance I'm going to play the full game. And it released a little earlier than I expected. And it looks like we have a cute little peninsula. This seems to be our boat. And we build a road. Can I just build this road anywhere and do anything? That sounds great. Camera, zoom in, out, uh, rotate, cool. Got a road. Build an explorer's hut? I build an explorer's hut. All right, here. Actually, if we get like a fisherman's hut, I think it would look better there. There you go. Uh, guard towers? What about actually building things we need? Build a woodcutting hut. I feel like that's gonna get, uh, get unnecessary very quickly. That's all right. We'll just mess up this run so that we'll know what to do later. Build a query quarry out here by these uh, rocks. Whoops. Can I delete this one? Yes. Sawmill? a stonemason. What about my people? Do they have anywhere to live? How many people do I have? I have so many people. friend to all the factions uh how about that still what about people is it gonna be upset up to 25 people living here and i can't build it so i'm gonna build a house want some people who are not homeless. And we need food. Hunting Lodge? Hunting Lodge. There's going to be critters out there somewhere. Alright, so anyway. Look at all my cute little people walking around. 
There's a game I really liked called Civilization uh, Revolutions. Like, you've heard about Civilization, I'm sure. But Civ Revolutions was like the, the Civ that came out for Xbox. And it was amazing. It was like the best civilization in my mind. And they had cute little workers like this. Let's see. I've played lots of games like this. Games like Banished and uh, Forest Village. Everyone compares this one to like the one I didn't play though. They're put calling it uh, just not connected to a road. Well, I can help that. Everyone's like, this is the spiritual successor to uh, Settlers. And I'm like, I never played Settlers. If it's good enough, everyone's excited about this. I think I might be excited too. Are you exploring? Can I center my camera on you, see where you're going? Build cottages. I need three. Woodcutters gathering wood, like we might actually be able to do this. Cottage over here. And I think we'll get like a little beachfront property over here. Although this section of beach looks terrible. Oh, there's my explorer. I really wish I could like center my view on him. Follow him around. I know I should have gone through that tutorial. But it's usually all the same, right? Like, I've heard nothing but good things about this game, so what I expect is not to be surprised. I don't expect, like, anything to, to shock me in terms of, like, what can and can't happen. Okay, so they're chopping down all the trees. I'm going to need more trees eventually. And so this is Wood Peninsula. This road is basically to get people to where the main city is going to be, which is like closer into the mainland. Like maybe we'll build some like fishermen on the beach or something, but. Although, how is this working? I've got this boat. Oh, there's just 500 people living on this boat? That seems intense. Alright. Now about foraging. Like, where would I pop a forager? Like, if the forester, like, plants trees that keep up with demand, like, maybe this would be a good place to forage? But in my experience, like, when you chop down a bunch of trees and plant them, like, the animals don't, like, hang out there. So, like, a forager really should be out here in the middle of nowhere, right?
Or can I squeeze you in? It's a little rough here. Um, there's no better place, but... Wait until the settlement expands a bit. Build a tavern. That sounds awesome. What do we need? A tavern, tavern tables. Provision. They want more stonemasons. What do you want? No resources to gather in range. Like, that's a rock, right? I don't know what to do with you, buddy. Are those rocks? And what's your problem? No animals to hunt. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. I don't see any animals anywhere. But tavern, huh? I need cut stone. That's going to be a little bit. Put a forager out here too. So many people. Look at this hustle and bustle. This is just a real cute game. This is pretty much what I'm looking for. Like a cute, calm little game where no one's trying to kill me yet. That's all I've wanted. Build a guild hall. Build a well. A well makes sense. Okay, I can't build a well on the beach. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, where could I build a well? We'll build it at this awkward point on the corner here. I don't know. Oh, hey, explorer. You know what? I love my explorer. Although I don't know what to do with this land around me. Uh, let's see. A provisioner, huh? Smoke meat and create durable rations. Well, that sounds great. But the hunter can't find any meats. No critters anywhere. Let's see. I'm going to leave off the guard towers because I don't honestly know how much of a threat anything is. Copper, iron, silver, smelting. You can make bread. Maybe I need to start making some wheat?
Make a simple vegetable farm. I do feel like I'm not generating nearly enough actual food. And farmlands placed nearby. If I put you here. Does that work? Or are you going to be upset that there's no road to that farmland? in any way to speed up time currently. We need storage. I'm gonna put one of those. But this is gonna be a cute little village, I think. Right now the layout's terrible, but I expect like to fill in a ton of stuff here. I don't know what it takes to expand though. Apparently expansion needs guard towers. Or at least objective wise. That's what it's telling me. Guards can extend your territory using border stones. Any stationed unit can patrol or attack locations from there. Let's give it a shot. Just dump it in there. The rocky area looks cool and all, but what can I what can I do with it? Do you just build mines on the rocky area? No resources to gather. Look. That's cool and all. Okay, so there's some limestone like way out there. I see copper. There's stone. But when you guys were over here, you acted like there was nothing for you. Set focus point. There. Does that work? It doesn't work. Okay. I tried. Get lost. Okay, so... So rocks are a problem. Quarry workers break stone and limestone at nearby deposits in my territory. So if I want those, I'm going to have to build the guard tower over there. Did Pioneers of Pagonia win the vote? Uh, yeah. So far. So, 
Honestly, I might play a lot of different games. I asked on YouTube and in Discord which game people want me to play. And uh, <laughs> by the time I needed to go to bed, there was only one vote for anything. It was Pioneers of Pagonia. So I'm like, done. That's how easy it is to influence my decision. Just need to be the one person who votes. And it's on sale. I figured it was a good game. There was a good chance we were going to play it no matter what. But I also got to thinking, like, a lot of people were, were kind of hoping for something cute and fun. You voted for Rogue Trader, but this game might win favor because you don't know anything about it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's good. It should be good. Like, these, I feel like these games should not be the hardest to make. And it's gotten really good reviews from like Steam Next Fest. And look at all my cute people. I wish I could focus on these guys. I want to know more about them. I wish they had names. But apparently I've got like 500 people on the boat. Stonemason must be making cut stone, or it's at least I expect him to be. Wood cutting huts. I could build more wood cutting huts, but there's not that. I don't have that many trees. Oh, okay. So here the guards are. Expanding my territory. What is the basic premise of this game lore wise? Is it that people left their previous home kingdoms and are settling down on some island? I honestly don't know. I'm sorry, that's not a good answer. I have not done my research on this. Enemy camp spotted. Run! Ooh, a thieves camp on the other side of the rocks, huh? I suppose that doesn't count as one of the other factions. I'm growing pumpkins and cabbages. Oh, this is a vegetable farm. Right, right, right. I want... I want a wheat farm. Prop farm. Ooh, but I can't really put it anywhere yet. Approach on the forester. Oh, 
but I need... Where do I want my farm? Right around here. Oh, right, no beach farm. <laughs> is this kind of sloppily placed, but you know, I'll take it. Is that good? That looks hideous. There's gotta be a nicer way to do farmlands. Right now I've got way more farms than people. If I wanted more people, what would I do? got 